Hello everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how you can create this wood texture using some geo nodes. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to help me out to do more content. So let's get to the video. First, I'm gonna start by creating a new file. I'm gonna delete this loop and add a plane. Use S to scale it. Then click shift to enter edit mode. Select the edge selector here. Then select this edge and click A to extrude it. Select the first edge here and click Ctrl B to create a bevel. Use the roulette mode to create many cuts. Then exit edit mode and click shades mode. This is gonna be our scene. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. Okay. Now what we are gonna do is adding our object. Click shift A and select UV sphere. Place it up then click shades mode. Then go to the shading tab. We are gonna first create our scene material. Select it and then pick new material. Increase the metallic effect and you can leave the color. Also decrease the roughness a little bit. Then select our UV sphere and click new. Select the light and bring it in front here. You can also duplicate the light. Now let's start creating the wood texture. First select the principal BSDF and increase the metallic effect until 0 0.6. Then click Shift and A select noise texture. Click Ctrl T to use the node wrangler then plug the object into the vector. After that Shift A Select a Musgrave texture. Plug the factor of the noise to the vector of the Musgrave texture. Shift and A. Add a color ramp. Plug it here, then plug the color ramp into the base color. Okay, you can already see that we have some here. here. So we're gonna first change the color. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna leave the black color as it is. Start by changing the scale of the most graph text 0.8 or if you wanna use the same color that I used for this tutorial, you can use my hex code here. And for the second Color, that's the hex code. Okay, we're gonna name this material wood number one. Select this UV sphere and click Shift and D to duplicate it. Click duplicate material and rename it to wood two. Technically, we're gonna use the same notes at the exception of some changes. The first thing that we're gonna do is selecting the mapping node here. And change the Y value to 153. Then click Shift and A. Search for the brick. Sure. Also, we're gonna add mix RGB. Plug the mix RGB here. Then the color to gonna be blocked with the color one of the bricks texture then factor and it goes to color one you can also do the same thing here by plugging the factor of the noise texture into the roughness of the material and we're gonna see that the material becomes more shiny okay here we have our 
brick texture so to add more details i'm gonna deselect the bump node here and plug the brick texture into the height of the bump node then i'm gonna change the value of the strength and the distance to one and also i'm gonna put a value of one for the strength you can leave it as it is or you can change it as you want it's all matter of taste i think i'm gonna leave it like that okay gonna rotate all here I'm clicking r and that's it we have our brick texture after that duplicate the uv sphere again and duplicate the material and name it wood number three for the third wood texture we're gonna select the musgrave mapping node and play with the scale for the x scale change choose a value of 23 for the z axis choose a value of 34 okay now we have a different wood texture i'm gonna also change the color And if you want to use my hex value, you can take it. After that, just put the cursor at the beginning. Now we have other wood texture. Then I'm gonna duplicate the UV sphere again and place it here. Do the same to the material and name it wood number four. For this wood texture, we're gonna also change the mapping node and the wood color. First, change the mapping node. Then select the Y axis and choose a value of 182. Now go to the color ramp. Then change the position. Also change the color as you can see we have a brushed wood texture here for the wood number five just do the same thing again duplicate also duplicate the material rename it now we're gonna choose a more brownie color i'm gonna add more lightning Now we can, you can see our wood texture. Okay, to do the wood box, we're gonna use a default cube. Then enter edit mode, click Ctrl B to create a bevel. Then click sheets mode. After that, go to the tab modifier and add a subdivision surface. Choose a value of 4. Now we're gonna scale it into the x axis, then into the z axis. Now we have our texture. Now we have our object. Try to duplicate it. Let's hide this sphere, then go to the shading tab and select the wood one material and do the same thing for the others. After that, click shift and select the first one, then click into the second and the third one. Click Ctrl B and set parent to object by click transform. Now you can see that the three objects are linked. Okay. You can duplicate and use it to create the wood box. Okay. You can see that we have our box for the cover.
I just selected one of the planes, duplicate it, duplicate it, then scale it up. So here we have our wood box. Now select the sphere, move it above the box. And you can do the same thing with the other texture. Just select the box and duplicate it. Then select the proper wood texture. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share it.